Jumping high. One of the most iconic physical attributes an athlete can possess. Some of the most viral clips on the internet were born from the sheer awe of a freakish vertical jump. But undoubtedly, the high jump is where the world's best leapers gather. The current world record standing at an astounding 2.45 meters, which translates to over eight foot. This is the same height as the average house ceiling. So today I'll be going over the age grade world record holders in the high jump and what happened to them. Starting off at the youngest, the age 10 world record with a leap of 1.63 meters all the way back in 1996, John Thornell out of Australia. This record comes from a competition that had no right to be this competitive, with eight boys still in at 150 and three still jumping at 156, which is absolutely ridiculous for a bunch of 10 year olds. The best footage we get is of his 160, where he clears significantly over his own head. A bloody impressive feat for a 10 year old. Sadly his 163 is slightly cut off, but Thornell did go on to become a solid athlete. He has some solid personal bests all around, with a 212 in the high jump, age 17, but he definitely found his main event in the long jump, with a personal best of 8.08 meters. His greatest achievements would be a world under 20 medal in 2004, and placing fifth at the Commonwealth Games in 2006. But it honestly seems like the path of an athlete wasn't for him, as by 24, he was already done with the sport. The age 11 boys record is a bit of a mystery. It stands at an impressive 1.76 meters by a US athlete named Pitch Nem from 1988. I couldn't find anything. I even contacted the official admin of these youth world records. And while he confirmed the record, there is no result sheet or video. All we have is a name, age, and height. This will be the only non-documented record for the rest of the video. Moving on to the age 12 and 13 world records standing at 189 and 204 respectively. The first jumper to make it over the elusive two meter barrier is a name you might have heard before, Melwin Lick Holm. That's right, the son of the greatest short high jumper to ever live, Stefan Holm. These jumps were achieved in 2017 and 2018, meaning he's only 18 now. As of today, Melwin is yet to break out internationally in the senior ranks, but recently, he did win the under 20 European Championships, equaling his personal best of 218 and not missing a single jump until 221. To add to his resume, he's also won three consecutive Swedish National Championships from 2020 to 2023. He's also had a fantastic 2023 season, equaling his personal best three times. Like his father, his form is close to perfection and he's looking ready to break out to the next level very soon. The age 14 boys world record is probably the first on this list to go viral when back in 2017, Trey Tintinger from Helena High School in the USA leapt to an astonishing 2.17 meters. <laughs> the first seven foot jump on this list. Tintinger actually broke this record twice, first jumping 210 earlier that same year. And it's no wonder these jumps went viral. He makes these jumps look effortless. He jumps extremely unconventionally. There isn't a lot of speed or run up. It's pure bounce. Trey would jump the next two years, clearing 211 in 2018 and 210 in 2019. But in the years after, COVID would hit at full force. This would cause him to lose touch with the sport and hitting some low points in his life. But come to 2023, he's making a full return to jumping at age 20. He recently committed to the University of Oregon and has already cleared 210 within his first year back. He's actually openly posted on Instagram about his struggles over the last few years, and I'd recommend giving him a follow, as there isn't a doubt we'll be seeing some new personal bests out of him at Oregon. Next is the age 15 world record, and we're finally beginning to break into elite territory at a staggering 2.22 meters by the British jumps prodigy, Dominic Ogbechi. Here it is, 2.22, he's done it! Oh! I don't he accomplished this it. huge jump at the English Under-17 Indoor Champs in 2018. And he would actually jump a lot this season, with heights varying from 2.04 to 2.18. Overall, Ogbechi was a freaky teenage athlete, all his personal best stemming from when he was 14 to 16 years old. There was actually a lot of interest surrounding him in the UK, as he was deemed a prodigy athlete. But he never really lived up to the hype, and in 2023, He's now 21 and has never hit the same form. He still competes semi-regularly and is honestly still pretty good, jumping around 7 meters in the long and 210 in the high, consistently at that. 
Looking at his lack of competing throughout this year, he's probably just focused on other things. The next three age grade world records of 16, 17 and 18 are held by one athlete, sitting at a huge 233, 234 and 236 between the years of 1984 to 1986. Held by the Cuban nickname, the King of Heights, Javier Sotomayor. Sotomayor was introduced at the sport at age 14, where he was seen playing basketball and jumping high enough to hit his head on the backboard. He saw very quick improvement, as by 15 he had already improved his personal best to 215. And then the following years were all record breaking years, where he began competing against the elites at the age of 16, qualifying for the Olympics that year, but missing out due to a boycott by Cuba and other communist nations. By age 19, he had won his first major gold medal, and from then on would begin dominating the men's high jump scene, often being described by other jumpers to be able to jump 240 at will. And they weren't joking. Only 11 jumpers in history have made it over the elusive 240 mark. Sotomayor did it 24 times. I've honestly done his career disservice. He's the only person to ever jump 244 back in 1989 and then 245, the current world record in 1993. Both of these leaps being the only 8 foot jumps in history. He's truly the GOAT of the high jump. Now finally, onto the behemoth that is the age 19 record, collectively held by 5 athletes at 2.37 meters. Dragutin Topic of Serbia, Steve Smith of Great Britain, Ivan Yukov of Russia, Jacques Freitag of South Africa, and of course, the best to have ever done it, Javier Sotomayor of Cuba. First is Dragutin Topic, the father of youth phenom Angelina Topic. He cleared 237 at the World Junior Championships in 1990, taking gold, the championship record, and the official under 20 world record. Topic was a tall and resilient jumper, standing at 6 foot 6, and competed at the top level for 19 seasons. He wasn't majorly decorated during his career, yet still holds a title as one of the greats, consistently making finals and finishing top 5 at major events. His longevity truly stands above anyone else in the sport. He competed at 8 world championships and 6 Olympic games. That's tied for the most Olympic games by an athlete ever. Additionally, at age 37, he still managed to jump over 231. Another age grade world record to his belt. Steve Smith cleared 237 twice in 1992 and 1993, both times age 19 and to win bronze medals at the 1992 Outdoor World Champs in Stuttgart and at the 1993 Indoor World Champs in Toronto. He was already well decorated by age 20. He's still the joint British high jump record holder today with Robbie Grabass with his greatest achievement being a bronze medal from the Atlanta Olympic Games in 1996. Ivan Yukov, my favourite high jumper, also known as the drunk high jumper, cleared 237 in 2006 at a small meet in Germany. Yukov seriously had one of the most wacky careers of all time. He was crazy talented, clearing 240 officially. Yet, 241 and 242 unofficially, as those marks were later DQ'd. So his career was good, but what made him so wacky? He would jump in sprint spikes, he was known to be an alcoholic, and in 2008 he went viral, showing up to an international competition absolutely wasted out of his mind, literally staggering and jumping under the bar. He would later be DQ'd and banned for one year. He would then make a comeback having one of the best seasons ever, pushing his PB to 242, the third equal highest jump of all time. He had won gold at the 2012 Olympics. Get caught doping, get banned, and haul his best marks DQ'd. While technically a disgrace to the sport, he's still one of the most fun jumpers to watch, ever. Freitag is a jumper I hadn't actually heard of. He jumped 237 at his national champs in 2002, and would have a very short but successful endeavor as a professional high jumper. The next year in 2003, age 20, he would take gold at the world champs in France with a jump of 235, and then in 2005 he would improve his best to 238, the still standing South African record. And then after 2006, he was just kinda done, only age 23. And lastly, we don't really need to talk about the GOAT Sotomayor again. 
And that's all for the youth world record holders in the high jump. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment of what you'd want to see next time. Cheers.